highbrow, huh? Well, I guess we know what kind of comedy he's into. <laughs> What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Highbrow. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up top here we have Highbrow's decapitated head hovering above his body, which I still find a little disturbing. Zort and Highbrow. There you have the same image on this side of the packaging. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have your bio if you want to read it in multiple languages hooray for languages and that's basically it for the packaging also included is the collector's card yay for cards with that same image there of decapitated highbrow and on the back you have the text specs for both highbrow and zort and that's basically it for that hooray for cards and coming back down to ground level we will now get on to the toy itself so here is highbrow the last of the Wave 2 Deluxes, and he is quite cool. Um, Eyebrow gets some hate, but I, I like this guy. I mean, he's 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 very simple, but um, I, I do still like him. So let's get in close here so we can see the details. Nice transclearance red uh, cockpit there with the gray trim. Looks very nice. Got some guns right there up front. Yeah, some nice gunmetal gray here on the sides, which looks very nice. Get some gunmetal gray here as well. Which looks quite cool. And you get some red up top. Autobot symbol right there. You have dual propellers, which do spin very freely. They do kind of knock against each other, but they, they spin freely. And you get the red stripes going down the back here. You get that gunmetal gray back there for that rear propeller. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of a hollow back there. And uh, there you go. If you turn it upside down, you can pretty much see... I mean, he's already pretty much in robot mode. I mean... <laughs> there's not much to the transformation, but hey, it is what it is. What you gotta do. So, there you go. So, there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Scourge. Just so you can see how he scales there with Scourge. Because they do actually have a very similar transformation. So, there he is with Scourge. See how he looks there. And here he is with the Fens Project highbrow. And I will definitely say I do like the Titans Return version a lot better than the, uh, the Fens Project version. So there are the two of those together. You can see how they look. And there you go. Now, of course, he does include some accessories. He includes two guns, which are done in that nice gun metal gray. And they do have some nice detailing on them. Right there. They look quite cool. And you can take these and plug these underneath the wings. You do have ports on the ends of the wings as well. Um, if you want to do that, hey, totally up to you. But they are meant to go in, on, the, uh, on these inner ports here. So there you go. So you have that going on there. It does have a little landing gear. And you can flip down as well. Oh, there you go. So you can do that. And of course he does include his Titan Master, his Headmaster. Here is Zort. That's the only way I can say his name. That's, I, I can't say it any other way except Zort. Anyway, here is Zort. And uh, hooray! He has some paint on his face. They actually painted his visor. Silver. Hooray! There's actually some paint on this. <laughs> other than that, not a whole lot of detail. You can see his chest is very buried. Just has some little, some little notches there and whatnot. So yeah, not a whole lot of detail. Big belly button screw. And again, not a whole lot of multi detail on this guy. And of course, the upside down face on his back. As usual, the head is on a ball joint. You get some wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. The shoulders can move out a little bit. They can move up only that far. The hips are on a hinge and the knees are on a hinge. That's swing both ways. And that's pretty much it. Now, for comparison, here he is with the Fans Project version of Zort. So there you have that. And here he is with a G1 Headmaster. So you have that. Now you have a couple options for what you want to do with Zort. Um, you <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, I can't say it any other way. I just can't. I'm, tr I'm trying to make myself say it normal, and I can't do it. I just can't. Anyway, you can take the guns off here. And what you can do here, and this is pretty cool, is you take the guns, and 
see if I have them right here. You have these two tabs right here, these two slots right here. And you just take the two guns and you can actually plug them together like that right there. And then you take Zort and you have the two pegs right there. You just plug them into the bottoms of his feet and you sit him down. And there you have a little weapon emplacement for him. And you can take this and plug it into the port on either side of the cockpit here. And you can have that going on. So, that's pretty cool. So, there you have that. And, of course, you can take Zort. And you can open up the cockpit here. And just sit him down inside. Sit him down inside. Sit. You sit. Close that up. And there you go. And he can pilot the helicopter. So there you go. You have options. Hooray for options. So, let's put those apart. But yeah, there you go. So there is everything stored on highbrow. So without further ado, we'll get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's, uh, we'll just remove the guns. Put them off to the side for now. You get Zort. And put him off to the side. And there we go. Now transformation, very, very simple. You just want to take the arms here. They tab in two places. This tab goes right up in here. And this section just tabs right up in there. So it locks in two places. So you just take the shoulders and you bring them up and out. Like that. And then you just come in here and you flip out his hands. Right there. Flip out the hand. Flip out the hand. There you go. Now you come here and you split this section, which does hold together very securely. It can be a bit of a pain in the butt to get undone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I don't know if you can hear the sirens outside. <laughs> Cops are like, you're not doing this fast enough, M girl. I'm going to arrest you. Anyway. So you just bring the legs down. You rotate them forward, right there. You flip out the heel spurs. I didn't do it, I swear! Cops, man, cops are always after me. Anyway, yeah, you just flip out the heel spurs, rotate the legs forward, and then you take this section here, and you push it up into the body. Again, this is very much like a, like Scourge's transformation here. And then let's just raise up a little bit. And then you just flip in the landing gear and you take this whole cockpit section and you just bring it down against his back, like that. And there you go. And of course he is now missing his head. So now we bring in Zort and we just bring his arms down, fold him in half, and we just clip him on, like so. And there you have Highbrow. Oh, one less final little piece of transformation you just want to take this little chest panel here and just whoop, push that out that's that's the whole purpose for this thing is just to angle out a little bit in robot mode as far as i know it serves no other purpose okay sure so anyway <laughs> there you have eyebrow in his robot mode and i think he looks cool i like him I think he has a very cool looking robot mode, in my opinion. So let's get in close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Nice gunmetal gray there for the helmet. You got some nice blue there on the eyes. Very nicely done. Autobot symbol on his chest. You got some blue here, some yellows, some reds. And uh, yeah, very nice. You got a lot of nice molded detail there on the body. Looks quite cool. And there you go. Very nicely done. You know, he's got the cockpit on his back. Um, you can't do anything with these propellers. They don't fold up or anything. They stay just like this, but I don't know. Not the end of the world. It's okay. But I still think it's quite cool. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball of joints. So you get some wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. These shoulders are on a ball of joints, so they can do... Get the propellers out of the way. They can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You can use that transformation joint as well. And you also get some... Forward and backward flex there on that ball joint. You do have a bicep swivel. You have slightly over 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. Um, nothing at the wrist except for that transformation joint. Um, nothing at the waist due to the way it transforms. Uh, the legs can go forward that much. They can go back that much outward. You can do the full splits. Thigh swivel. 
Nice full range of movement there at the knee due to transformation, and you can't do anything with his feet. This is just one solid piece, but you can move his heel if that does anything for you. It's, it's there. It's there. There you have that. And of course, you can have him holding his weapons. Give him his guns. And there you go. So now we got him all armed up. I like him. He's pretty cool. Now for comparison, here he is with Scourge, since they share a transformation scheme. <laughs> We're going to show how they look together. So there you have that. Uh, here he is with Hardhead. And we'll bring in Chrome Dome. So you can see how these three look together. The Autobot Headmasters. So there you have that. Uh, here he is with the wise, very wise, Mr. Alpha Trion, with his infinite words of wisdom. I know I've been enjoying them. I know you have too. Probably not. Anyway, run! Oh, yeah. Anyway. And here he is with leader Optimus Prime. Yes, you can see how he scales there with the big bots. And here he is with the fans project. Hi, bro. So you can see how he looks with his third-party counterparts. So there you have that right there. So there you go. So there is Highbrow. I do like him. You know, like I said, people have kind of been hating on Highbrow, but I, I dig him. I mean, it's it's a simple transformation. Like I said, when he's in when he's in helicopter mode, he is still pretty much in robot mode. But you know. Simple transformations don't bother me. I've said time and time again, I don't care how you get from point A to point B just so long as you get there. So, you know, simple transformation doesn't bother me. It doesn't kill my enjoyment of the toy. It doesn't make me hate it. I still, um, I still like the helicopter mode. The helicopter mode is decent. It is not great, but it's decent enough for me. I like his robot mode. I think it's cool. And all around, I think he's, he's a solid figure, so... There you go, so if you would like a highbrow or any other Titans Return figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Highbrow, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! Oh man, those guys always go off to battle without me. I gotta catch up now. Young warrior, listen to me. Before you run off into battle, remember this. If the air smells of caramel, the donkeys will weep into the Big Dipper. Um... Th thank you, sir? It's late. Where are your parents?